If you're familiar with UFO paper, you know that it's not really paper, it's a synthetic material. But have you wondered what other alternatives there may be? I'll show you in this video. Hi, I'm Diana. Welcome to Crafted Sweetly. If you're new to my channels, please don't forget to click on that subscribe button so you can see future videos. So let's get right into alternatives to UPO paper. So this is the UPO paper that I generally use with alcohol inks and it's a 74 pound paper and it has this shiny feel to it. It's, it's a synthetic plastic paper. It doesn't, doesn't absorb anything. So some alternatives that I'll explore with the alcohol ink just so you can see the results and then we can look at it at the end which which ones uh, work best and they may all work depending on the purpose that you're using them for. That's the UFO paper. I'll try out photo paper and this is a semi-gloss paper. Then I will try Tyvek paper which looks like this. You can almost see the fibers in the paper for this but we'll try and see how alcohol ink reacts to this. Then I will try it on, on cardstock metallic. So this has again a very shiny finish to it so it's not absorbent which works great with alcohol inks because it's just gonna be on top and then it evaporates. The next one I'm gonna show you and see we'll see what happens with it is vellum paper. Again it has a fine a smooth finish to it and semi-transparent okay so that's gonna be vellum paper and then um, last would be um, acetate and that's gonna be just clear obviously it's so we'll try out the alcohol ink on these various surfaces and see what happens. So for all of the different papers or different surfaces that I'll be using, I will use the same three colors just so that I'm not changing the type of alcohol ink on it. So we can see the different um, results. It's the Tim Holtz alcohol inks. A couple of them are, you know, like this one is the brights, this one is earth tones, and then this is just the regular alcohol ink. So these are the ones that I'll use for all of them. And then the other thing that I'll use is a blow dryer and the blending solution so that I can kind of move this around on the paper. So I'll add some blending solution to the paper and I do have some parchment paper on my work area so that I don't get alcohol ink everywhere. And no I am not wearing gloves. I'll probably will get some on my hands but that's okay. I don't mind. That's with blending solution added with the alcohol ink on UPO paper. Okay, now for the next one, I'm using photo paper, and this one has the Canon printed on the back, so I'm using this front side. So again, I'll add some blending solution to it to see what happens, how it moves. So this is with photo paper and you can see that the image is a little more wispy, kind of more blended together as opposed to the sharp lines on the UPO paper. Metallic cardstock next. So again, I'll use the same. I mean, you could always start with alcohol ink and add blending solution if you want, but I'll start the same process with all of them so that I'm not changing how I'm applying it. So you can kind of see what it's happening now. It's almost like sitting on the surface. See how it kind of spreads out a little bit first. So. Metallic does look very similar to the UPO paper in terms of just the color being very bold and not blended as on the um, photo paper. 
Okay, next I'm using the tie-back paper and this does look absorbent. So I will add the solution on here as before. And it's kind of picking up the color from underneath, but not much to spread here. I can tell it's you know, slightly moving around, but not like on the other papers. It didn't spread as much, it kind of absorbed it instantly. But uh, what I do like about this that you can kind of see the fibers in the paper. So it, you can certainly create an interesting look. And now for the vellum paper. And again, this one's pretty smooth on there. So I'll add the blending solution. Oh, you can kind of see how the little droplets of alcohol ink were kind of running. So this one kind of floats more on the surface than it does with the other papers and it's not drying as fast either. Now with this, with the vellum paper, you can create some really beautiful backgrounds with it. I do like the sort of subtle coloring in it and blending. It's not as sharp contrast as it is with the Yupo paper where your, where your colors are just more defined in places. And then last, we're gonna try out this acetate. And sorry about the glare on here. I'll just turn off this so you don't have the the glare from it but uh, so same with this it blended very evenly just like with the vellum paper as you can see it it just has a very smooth transition from one to the other as it blended so we've got the yupo paper this is your acetate vellum paper and then photo paper and the metallic cardstock of course the tieback paper which almost became like a marbled paper to it so which one is best it really depends on what project you're doing. So just wanted to show you how the alcohol ink reacted on the various surfaces. I hope this video helps you in your next project in choosing what paper you're using for your alcohol ink or what surface. Each one's gonna give you a different design. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.